long, long ago, in a beautiful Thai kingdom, the king's son Zhao Shutun, who was handsome, intelligent, and intrepid, had not yet found his true love. One day, his royal friend said to him. Seven beautiful peacock princes will fly to the Rasne Lake for a swim tomorrow. Among them, the most intelligent and beautiful one is the seventh princess, Nomnena. All you have to do is to hide her peacock feathers so that she can fly away and will stay and be your wife. The prince was skeptical. The next day, however, he came to the lake last night. Sure enough, there were seven beautiful young girls splashing in the lake. They were elegant and feminine. Namnona was particularly very charming. This is the girl I've been looking for. The prince fell in love with her instantly. When Namnona's sisters had all flown away, and she was left alone, the prince walked out bearing a peacock feather. Princess Peacock stared at him for a long time without saying anything, but her eyes were filled with adoration. The two youths had fallen in love at first sight. However, shortly after, the neighboring traps. Quickly provoked a war. In order to defend his homeland, the valiant prince went to war at once. After the prince returned to war, the great wizard took the opportunity to tell the king that Namnona was a disaster, and it was she who brought war and misfortune. The king listened to the wizard's rumors and decided. To burn Princess Peacock to death, Namnona was heartbroken. The news of the princess transported the whole kingdom. In the crowd that welcomed the army, the prince didn't see Namnona, who he missed the days and nights. Knowing that the wizard had killed her, the prince was in great pain. His friend told him that Peacock Prince didn't die, but flew back to the Peacock Kingdom far away. The prince mounted the elephant and set off again. Went through the jungle, killed demons and beasts, and tramped over hill and dale on the way in spite of suffering injuries. He was not afraid of the unpredictable dangers ahead. Whether it was day or night, windy or rainy, he hurried on his way. Finally, he arrived at Damnona's hometown. The king of Peacock Country decided to test whether Zhao Shutun has the ability to protect Damnona. Zhao Shutun, who was clever and brave, pulled open his bowstring and placed arrows to prepare for archery. He shot out the candle flame on Namnona's head with an arrow. They loved each other deeply and hugged each other tightly. They were never separated again. From then on, the story of the Peacock Princess, a symbol of loyalty and beauty, has been widely circulated among the Dai people. Touching the hearts of generations of people.